basically what's going on today as you can see I'm not my usual self because I look bare as hell it's because I'm gonna do a get ready with me actually I was supposed to go to an event but the event was cancelled so I already planned to do the video <sighs> I just thought, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead to do it. I'm just gonna get ready to go nowhere. You guys actually requested this makeup look. But first, let's just address the elephant in the room, which is this huge ass pimple over here. I've been having this angry, active pimple for like five days and it hasn't erupted. It's like sitting beneath the bed of my skin, getting all comfy, not budging. So I have like two or three shoots this week and this is totally not helping me. If you zoom in here, it looks like the Japan flag. Today, I'm just gonna basically share with you the main products that I usually grab for. Normally, I'm not sure about you, but I start my makeup with my eyes. Just let me know. Let me know whether you are the kind of girl who does your eye makeup first or your foundation first. And we'll see like how many people are on the same page as me. Before we continue in anything, please subscribe. If not, I'll not continue. We're just gonna sit here and have a staring game until you press that subscribe button. Just click the subscribe button and we can get moving! So I'm always gonna start off with my favourite eyeshadow primer. I've been using this since the start of my makeup journey. Haven't changed, haven't found a better alternative. This is my holy grail. And we just need like a teeny weeny little bit. Okay, that's good enough. And in case if you were wondering, I got my lashes done by Secret Beauty. They are about two weeks old and they still look fabulous. We'll be opting for the Naked Palette, Naked Heat Palette this time because Urban Decay rocks. Swipe it all over your eyes. Just go, just go. So while I'm just like at it, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story of how I got started with makeup. So it happened when I was like in primary school you'll be thinking damn girl that is young i had a skit to perform and i had to borrow some makeup from my mom i was white riding hood then i wasn't red riding hood so my mom passed me a mascara and i think an eyeshadow and maybe like a foundation i did my own makeup for the skit that's all i could remember like oh yes i'm wearing makeup and this is my first time wearing makeup. End of the story, I never ever returned to my mom the makeup. I kept it for like ever. And then we will be going with this one over here. And we'll be just warming up the outer corners of your eyes to give it a little softening shot. This is one of the palettes that I enjoy quite a lot because the colors are surprisingly nice. <laughs> this, 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 yes, yes. Okay, so we get this color and we're gonna blend the top part out, soften any harsh lines. Going back into the Naked palette, we're gonna be taking uh, up to you really. If you want it to be darker, go for the darker color. If you want it to be lighter, go for the lighter color. So, we're gonna use this to define the crease. Moving on to eyeliner, I've been loving Etude's House uh, Super Slim Proof Brush Eyeliner. It's really slim. I can show you guys. Wow, so small! Look at that! So freaking small! I'll just extend out my wing but a little bit. Ta-da! Really, really simple. I've mentioned these glitter products before in my favorites video. They're like super shiny and super easy to use. Okay, you can never ever finish this pot. I've been using it for one year already, right? And it hasn't budged. Unless uh, I cover my whole face with this glitter. Idea! Okay, if this video hits 500 likes, I will cover my whole face with this glitter. Take a little bit with your brush. You can also use your finger. And we'll be applying it in the middle of the eye, like over here. And then just spread it out. And we'll put a little bit on tear ducts here. Not forgetting to draw on your fake, false, fake lashes at the bottom to balance everything out. Moving on to brows, I've been enjoying this. I think it's from Kose. They send it to me. Brow pencil which looks like this. It makes your brows look like really natural. And it's super easy and forgiving to use. I would just, just randomly draw strands of hair here and there to just fill up my empty spaces. 
I do not really like my brows to be really defined. I like like the messy, bushy look. I'm okay with there's like little mistakes or like stray hairs growing out. I know some people can't stand it. I'm still using this Smashbox water primer. Almost done with it. Uh, still my favourite primer because it's lightweight. It helps my makeup stay on my face. Uh, currently my most frequent foundation will be the Maybelline Fit Me. But I hope that it comes in like a one shade lighter. Because I still find that it's a bit dark when it oxidises. And it's on the pinkish side but I'm more on like a yellow tone. Sometimes um, I also draw in my contour. Put in a few contour lines. Um, this is the Spotted Foundation Leopard Look. You can get it by just randomly dabbing foundation all over your face. It's really easily achievable, especially now that I have two years on my head. It looks great. Yeah, I will blend out the lines last because I do not want it to pollute my foundation first. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer. A concealer that I've been also really digging is also from Kose. I never knew like Kose did makeup. I would just like target it on my spots. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone and the good earth is rich. And then you can either use a brush to like slowly blend it out. But I think my finger works fine because it also warms up the product. My current favourite blush palette will be this third one, it's called the Blush Bazaar. It's seriously all the blush you ever need in your life. It's really hard to choose which blush colour. Normally, I will just like do a swirl like Chiang Le. <laughs> and we are going to blush. What I like about it is the colours come off pretty true to the palette. All the colours actually just look really good as a blush. See, everything looks better with a little colour on your face. Everybody knows this Contour NYX palette. Normally, I take the lightest to just define my jawline. Then, we will contour our nose with a fluffy brush. Where's my fluffy brush? I have like a container or literally a bucket of brushes over here. The Lorac Pro, dipping into taupe. And morph, morph. Draw a straight line down from my brow, slimming my nose instantly. Amen to the person who invented nose contour. This is a new setting powder that I've been trying for the past two or three days. I like it pretty much. This is the matte loose powder from Urban. Eh, not Urban Toy. Sorry, Super Matte Loose Powder from Makeup Forever. You can choose to leave your lips like that if they look fine. For my normal days, I'll just choose to leave my lips alone and not apply anything except lip balm. We're gonna pump it up a notch today. We'll use a new colour. I haven't even opened it yet. But I heard like this colour is pretty nice. I'm not sure whether it'll look nice on me. So we'll just try it lah. Ooh! Me like this colour! Feels like the one I've been looking for my whole life. <gasps> oh, but it's so nice. I like the color so much. Okay, lucky I didn't give it to my friend. <laughs> How cute is that? I'm not I'm not saying me, I'm saying the color. Voila! Oh, how can I sing? Oh. So this is really the joy of trying new products. You never know whether it will be a hit or miss, whether you will include it in your daily routine, or whether it could just be the one. I am so happy with the lips and the entire look. It worked out fine. It worked out well. But I have nowhere to go, so life 
has hit me hard. The biggest conspiracy theory is that what if all the beauty blenders are the same? They just change the color, the beauty blender, and then they tell you, oh, this is actually great for this, that, and that. A marketing strategy. <laughs> 